hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to the various concepts associated with uh, waves and oscillations so in the previous videos we discussed about the the basic introduction into this whole uh, waves and oscillations concept this whole idea the various things which we will study so in this video we are going to discuss about the mathematical analysis of periodic motion specifically the periodic functions now why this is important because while discussing any type of motion and various other uh, related things or about oscillatory motion or any other concepts associated with that we have to take the example of a periodic function because oscillatory motion is also periodic in nature so a periodic motion has to be represented by a periodic function a function which satisfies the properties the criteria so a good understanding about periodic functions and its behavior will be helpful there so while discussing the mathematical uh, analysis of any concept we have to use periodic functions so we should have a very good basic understanding of that now we just uh, discussed in the previous video that the motions they can be divided into two ways the basic concepts that is periodic and oscillatory Periodic motion is one which repeats itself after a certain interval of time, fixed interval of time called as time period. Whereas the oscillatory motion it exhibits, it is also periodic motion. The oscillatory motion is also periodic motion, but it uh, has one extra feature is that it exhibits a to and fro movement from one extreme to another about a fixed central position called as the reference or the equilibrium position now the examples of periodic motion we also discussed the revolution of earth around sun the revolution of moon around earth with time periods one year and 27 days 27.3 days respectively now periodic functions now the periodic motion of an object uh, of any particle or body it has to be represented in mathematical terms with the help of a periodic functions a periodic function now the popular ways the main ways in which periodic functions or periodic motion is represented in mathematical terms is with the help of sine and or cosine function both the same so sine and cosine functions they are very popular because they are very simple to analyze and uh, we always use them so we are acquainted with them their behavior so they are always chosen as a standard way mathematical representation of periodic functions or periodic motion so here let us take the sine function first so we have represented the sine function as a function of t f t is equal to sine omega t where omega is the angular frequency omega is 2 pi f and f is 1 by capital t we all know that frequency 1 by time interval of the time period capital t so we can write this as sine 2 pi by t t okay now what happens after we cross the instant the time interval the time period the fixed time period of that uh, periodic motion that is capital T what happens so we'll add T here F T plus T that is from that particular time instant this much amount of time capital T amount of time be it in seconds minutes whatever it has passed so we have to do the same everywhere where there is T so here also it is t plus capital T small t plus capital T so it will become sine 2 pi 
by capital T into T plus 2 pi. So here what happened is that when 2 pi by capital T mul got multiplied with capital T, both capital T's were cancelled out as one it is one of them is here in the numerator and the other one is here in the denominator. So we got this. Now we know that any trigonometric function, okay, when it is added with 2 pi, 2 pi is same as 0, okay, A is T C. So the coordinate system, if you remember, 2 pi is same as starting from the same position or coming back to the same position where we started. So we will get the same function sine 2 pi by capital T into T. It is same as adding 0 here in terms of trigonometric functions I am speaking. Okay. So 2 pi means 360 degrees. Okay. In radians it is 2 pi, in degrees it is 360 degree. So a 360 degree motion from the, from the same point where we started. So we will reach there only the same initial position and we'll get the same function. So we get ft plus capital T is equal to f small t. So we get the same function after the time period has passed we get the same function. So the sine function is a periodic function. Okay. Now this is the ft versus t diagram of sine function the plot so it starts from 0, reaches the peak, then drops down again to 0, then the negative direction, negative peak we get here and then again back to 0. So this whole thing, it takes capital T amount of time. It can be in any unit, be it seconds or minutes, whatever. So this whole time interval from 0 to T here, which completes one complete vibration or one complete movement of the sine the sine function it is called as the time period or it is also called as one complete cycle of the whole uh, characteristic of the aspect parameter whatever so almost all the wave uh, characteristics all the wave behaviors of any object or body in any department of science and technology or engineering we will represent this in through this basic sine function okay this sine function represents or it is used in the mathematical representation of a countless numbers of behavior phenomena it is explained through this sine function in different ways okay so this is the sine function okay with positive negative peak with one complete cycle taking capital t amount of time which is called as the time period now let us see with the cos function okay previously we took the sine function here we'll take the cos function let gt is equal to cos omega t same omega is the angular frequency which is 2 pi by capital t after time period t we'll add t here gt plus t t will get added everywhere there is capital uh, the small t so the same thing will happen 2 pi by t into t and again when it gets multiplied with capital t here both the t's will get cancelled so any trigonometric function getting added with 2 pi or 360 degree means it returns back to the same position where it started now i've already discussed about the trigonometric uh, uh, those things in the signals and systems videos and also in various other videos where it came into uh, the picture so i will not repeat it again so we will get the same function that is after t capital t amount of time we will get the same function gt plus capital t is equal to gt so cos function is also a periodic function because we get the same function after the fixed interval capital t now suppose the time period is uh, is in multiples where nt ft plus nt or gt plus nt where n is equal to 1 2 3 or any other natural uh, real number we will also get the same function ft plus nt is equal to ft ft plus n capital t is equal to ft or gt plus n times capital t is also equal to gt okay so the whole 
point or idea of this video was to make you understand why sine and cosine functions are considered for the mathematical analysis of uh, periodic or oscillatory motion and to make you understand how the sine function why the sine function actually is a periodic function is a good choice to represent periodic motion okay so this is all about the periodic functions and the analysis of periodic motion we discussed both the sine and cosine functions okay so we will discuss about uh, the various other concepts related to oscillations and waves in the upcoming videos so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to the various topics related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much